Hello and welcome back to Art Masters with me, Mrs. Portia. Today we're going to be doing some value and line drawings just like Winslow Homer. We're going to be using lines and value the lights and the darks of our shading to create a rock seascape or a more advanced lighthouse using the lights and dark and the shading from our pencils, we're gonna create our realistic drawings, just like Homer. So to get started with our Homer drawing, we are going to have our white paper, our scrap skinny piece of paper pencils that I gave you, and you may even want a regular pencil too. We'll just do a little experiment here. So when I say value, that's just the light or the dark of a color. So I'm gonna use this number 555 pencil and I'm gonna do like a little value scale or a gradient. I'm gonna push hard and overlap. And as I come down, I'm gonna push less hard, less, 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 less. So you see I have a dark value to a light value. Then I'm gonna grab, just watch me first, my 4B pencil, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Fun, you could use a regular pencil and do the same thing. Use each pencil, make a little value gradient scale, and then look at it and see which pencil was the darkest. I think this black pencil is the darkest, I was able to make the darkest black with that pencil, and I think our regular normal pencil was probably the lightest. So now we know which pencils we'll use when we wanna get really, really dark, and maybe which ones we'll use when we wanna go light. So today we have two options for, you, for what we're going to draw. So we could do, the lighthouse is probably a little more advanced, but you could simplify yours as, as much as you'd like to so just do a rocks, and seascape, which is a little simpler, okay? So I'll give you an example of both, so go ahead and watch me first. So if you wanna do the lighthouse, please, I'm gonna fold it. So pinching the edges is usually the best way to fold it. Okay. Now I'm gonna tap my folded edge because I wanna cut on this open edge, okay? So I'm not cutting on the folded edge, I'm cutting on the open edge. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the bottom here. If you don't start at the bottom, it's just gonna change the shape of your lighthouse. And then I'm gonna cut a really skinny corner off. I don't wanna cut too much off because I want a pretty decent sized lighthouse. I now have a lighthouse. If you want to be a little bit more of a perfectionist, you could get a ruler and you could draw where you want to cut off and then you'll cut off the edges. But what we're trying to get here is a template for our lighthouse. Bye. Okay, if you want to do a little bit simpler of the seascape with the rocks, you're going to use your scrap paper as a ruler and we are going to do a horizon line. So for the rockscape, we're going to do a horizontal. So we have vertical, horizontal. So we want to do horizontal and we want to put our horizon line about a third of the way down. So if I was going to break my paper into threes, a third of the way down, probably like three of your fingers from the top. Okay. We don't want to put it right in the center because that's just not as interesting. So we want to put it about a third of the way down from the top. So I'm going to use my extra dark pencil because I want that to be my darkest line. And I'm just going to draw a horizon line. Good. So if you are doing the lighthouse, we should have our template. Okay. I'm going to put mine off to the side a little bit and I might use my regular pencil with this one just so I know um, I could go over my lines later. And I'm going to trace my template. So go ahead and lightly trace your template. Okay, 
Okay, so for our rocks, we are going to either make the rocks go all the way across the page. So to do our rocks, we're gonna make some big blobs, some smaller blobs, and some tiny blobs, and we're going to use um, some angles on these. And then I'm gonna do a different shape, smaller, and then I'm gonna do some tiny shapes. So think about rocks, different sizes, different shapes. Okay, if you're doing the lighthouse, we wanna add some detail to our lighthouse. So this lighthouse has a little bit of a door here. It has a railing and a top. This lighthouse has more of a enclosed light with a cone shape top. Oh, this lighthouse has stripes, double tier, and it even has a little window. So you can add some detail to your lighthouse. You can use your template as a straight edge. So I might add a door. Okay, but let's give it a top. So a lot of the tops were cone shaped tops. And again, I can use my template as a straight edge. So let's put a dot where I want the cone to end. So you're gonna add a little bit of detail to your lighthouse. So give it a door, maybe a cone shaped roof, and we'll add the light. If you wanna add more detail, like a railing or stripes or the paneled lights. You may do so, but we're not gonna shade yet. We're just drawing some of the details on our lighthouse. For our rocks, we're going to continue adding different shape rocks all the way across. Excellent. So for my lighthouse, friends, you are going to add a little bit of foreground. So I'm gonna so, put mine on a little bit of an island. So I'm gonna kind of create a nice little blob shape. And I definitely want a horizon line, just like my rock picture. So I'm gonna use a straight edge and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm probably gonna go about a third of the way down maybe a little bit more. And I'm going to create a horizon line. I'm not gonna go through my lighthouse. I'm gonna go from the edge to the edge. And then again here, edge to edge. So we're so. gonna get a horizon line and some sort of land that's yours. Okay, good. So for my lighthouse, Think about what the bottom looks like. Maybe it's curved. Maybe you cut off one of those edges. You can erase a little bit here. Maybe it needs a window here, or if you wanted to do the stripes. But think about um, adding some rocks as well. So you saw how I did the rocks for my friends here. So maybe there are some rocks at the bottom here. So continue adding maybe a little bit of the landscape details. We're not shading yet. So. Okay, so I want everyone to be looking now because my lighthouse friends, you're gonna be doing the same thing. Take, I'm gonna take my darkest pencil, which was this black one. And I want you guys to watch first, okay? I'm gonna be doing horizontal lines. In the back is gonna be the darkest part, and as I come forward is gonna be lighter Color in the front. And you'll notice my lines in the back are gonna be really tight together the farther away from the eye. And as it comes closer, you're gonna see some of these ripples. So I'm gonna, if you wanna be safe, you could put this template over here just to protect your drawing my rock landscape, you have a really long 
piece of water that you're doing. So I turned mine vertical just because I found it easier for me. And then as I come to the bottom, I'm just gonna do some wavy lines, just like water. If you were doing your lighthouse, you would still use your template here. And I would go from the lighthouse to the edge. So if you're doing your lighthouse, when you're done with the details, you're gonna start on the water, going dark and close together. And as you come down, lighter, wavy horizontal lines that are farther apart at the bottom. And you're gonna do both sides. Okay, excellent. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the sky. So I'm gonna either use my 4B pencil, which was a little bit lighter. I actually want the darkest point to be my horizon line where the water is. So I'm not even gonna push as hard. So if I'm, again, I'm gonna be doing my horizontal lines and I'm gonna start by not pushing hard at all because I can't take away the dark. It's harder to take away the dark. Good, so you see how I just have a hint of color there and maybe I'll come down with very, I'm barely even touching the paper with the lighthouse. I would start at the top edge. I'm using my 4B horizontal, very, very light, and then coming down even looser as I get closer to the water. Okay, great job. So now we're gonna be thinking about some shading. So I want everyone to watch how I shade the rocks. So we're gonna pretend that the sun is coming from this direction, which means the light would be kind of at the top of the rocks. So it means all of the rocks have the same light source. So I'm gonna use my darker pencil because I like that pencil. And I'm going to color the bottom right of my rocks. And I'm thinking about what the rocks look like. Sometimes they have more than one layer, right? Now over here, this rock is gonna look different, but it's still gonna be the bottom right that I'm adding the shadow to. And you'll do the same thing on your lighthouse. Okay, but now I have to make my cylinder look three-dimensional. So again, we're pretending my sun is coming from this direction, which means the light is gonna be the lightest right here on this side, okay? So I'm gonna take my darker pencil and I'm gonna go the darkest at the bottom right. And then as I come in, I'm gonna be lighter and lighter. So I could switch pencils or I could just barely push. This one I'm doing vertical lines because my shape is vertical. So go ahead and start shading, thinking about your light source. If you wanna copy me, have it could be coming from this way. So it's always gonna be like the bottom right of every object. It doesn't matter if it's a rock or a cylinder. Okay, excellent job, my friends. Let's get a little bit more into our shading, if you would like. So I put some darks on my rock, but I would like a little bit of a medium tone as well. So I could... And I'm gonna go over my current shadow, almost like a crosshatch. That's what I would call a crosshatch, where you're just um, doing tiny like tally marks, okay? So very light, almost like a crosshatch, farther apart over that darker shadow. So it's adding kind of like a middle tone to all my shadows. So I'll have dark, medium, and light. So this. Okay, the same is gonna go for my lighthouse. I want some medium shadows. So this very edge of the lighthouse would have just a little bit of shadow and the lightest spot is gonna be kind of in this middle spot, okay? Now for my door, I might wanna shade my door a little bit. 
Maybe you wanna add a little bit more detail on your door. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna start shading our details. Okay, excellent job. So final details, um, you're gonna continue shading, but maybe you wanna go over some of the lines. Maybe some of my rocks need to stand out a little bit more. Maybe. If you feel like you need it to be a little bit darker or to look a little bit better in the back, I'm using a little bit of darker lines, but I'm keeping them kind of wavy like water. I'm just being a little bit more intentional with my lines. Making it look a little bit more like water. The farther away, short, dark lines. The closer, longer, farther apart lines. So with your lighthouse, same thing. Maybe you need a little bit of shading on your landscape. Maybe you need to add a little bit more details like grass or bushes. What about a shadow? If my sun is coming from here, there would be a cast shadow. So an object casts a shadow and it would be kind of the same shape as the lighthouse. Okay, so we're doing final details, adding some shadows, maybe some grass, making our water lines look a little bit more intentional. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to get our black paper and our Homer tag. You're gonna write your name on the white tag and glue it on the back. You're going to glue down your drawing in the center of your black paper. Great job today with your Winslow Homer value drawings. Great job today, guys, on your seascape with Winslow Homer, or maybe you did a lighthouse. So if you guys have time to evaluate each other's drawings, go ahead and see if you could look at the values, the lights and the darks, and maybe the contrast. Point out some of the details or the differing lines and shading. And I hope you guys enjoyed this drawing by Winslow Homer, and I'll see you next time on Art Masters.